Hey, this is Jesse Grover. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Vancouver, Washington. I help first time home buyers and people ro relocating here all the time and go over the steps with them in greater detail. So let's go over the seven essential steps of buying a home and you will have no questions after this video. So let's get into it. This is the a general overview of the entire buying process. Um, lots of things different uh, change depending on county, depending on area, depending on state, but this is a general overview of the entire process. This video is going to be good for any first time home buyers. It's going to be good for people who have uh, haven't bought a house in a while. This is going to be good for even people who bought two years ago and now need to upgrade. Um, please reach out to me and I can go into further detail about any steps any process on this i can recommend um, any good lenders i can recommend good agents in different states um, i can also recommend the good title companies that i enjoy working with because i have had good opportunities uh, during this entire process i also refer um, the the best inspectors that i have firsthand worked with that i enjoy and i review every inspection report and, the, and all that information gets passed on to you when working with a trusted professional. You get pre-screens of every other professional that they have worked with. The first step is really going to be meeting with a lender and getting pre-approved for a loan. This is going to be a tedious step for the home buyer, but it is very important to go over your DTI or your debt to income ratio and other things to look at really what you are going to be qualified for and what you can afford on a monthly basis for your home purchase. Getting pre-approved for, for an amount, for a purchase amount is going to give the realtor a budget to go after and really understand and really hone in on searching for homes in the area you want to buy and will really give you a more concrete idea of what to look for. And then step number two is really going to be hiring that real estate agent to help show you the homes and help find the homes and they can guide you through that entire process. They're also going to answer any questions that you have about the homes or the area. They can look into county records. They can look into title reports. They can dig into and ask more questions in greater detail for you um, on any potential home and the real estate agent is a key uh, factor in buying a home it's they're really like the the I guess the puppeteer almost throughout um, the entire process step number three is going to be going and looking at houses it's going to actually be going out there not just online but going into homes and getting a better idea Pictures can be a little deceiving sometimes. So you're really going to want to go look at those houses, even if you're not super interested, but it might fit into your price range. Just go look because you're going to know so much more about going and looking at the house, standing in those rooms, um, standing in that kitchen and really getting a feel and a presence of the neighborhood and the house itself. That's going to tell you more than just looking at the listing online. And that real estate agent is really going to be able to get you into that house. Um, you as a buyer are not really able to go look at a house yourself, um, especially if it's occupied by the seller, um, unless you're going to an open house, which is going to be hosted by another real estate agent. But you're really going to need that agent to uh, get the key, open the door, um, let you in, and uh, th they're going to bring the listing report and more information and answer your questions as you're looking through that house. So step number four is you find that house and you want to write an offer and it's submitting the offer. So now the, the agent and the lender, you're discussing um, kind of the possibilities and the loan options and what you can really do to create the best offer in the market that you're in. Because sometimes in some markets you have to be a little more competitive or in other markets you can ask for some things and you can actually the the buyers might have a little more power and you might actually be able to get a little bit more or get um, the price reduced depending on the house depending on a lot of different factors but that's really where uh, the the real estate agent shines and they're able to craft a very competitive and very compelling 
offer to get accepted and to get you the best terms as a buyer. So step number five is once you have that offer accepted, it's getting a home inspection. This is one of the most crucial steps in buying a house. This is really going to tell you more about the house than you will ever need to know. Um, you as a buyer are going to be hiring a professional home inspector to dig in to every inch of that house. They're going to go into the crawl space. They're going to go into the attic. They're going to try all the appliances. They're going to look through every little inch. So you're not surprised by anything that goes on with that house. Um, step number six is going to be further negotiations. That's when repairs are going to be asked for or, um, Appliances are going to be swapped out. There's so many different types of repairs or changes that could happen that could be included in the listing or or you know now added or removed. That there there's a there's a lot of different options and this is the negotiating time because now that you have the inspection, you know more about what the house needs or is um, for to close that that transaction so step number seven is gonna be uh finalizing that loan and and getting those closing details so once that inspection is complete and the negotiations are completed that's when you can really um, finalize the loan options you can finalize things with title and you can set up signing and getting um th those last remaining details um fully ironed out um before the close date that's closing costs. That's a, a lot of other things that come into play. And this is really when the title company and escrow are really in more control in that last two thirds of closing uh, time frame. And it's also good to work with uh, a really good mortgage lender because they're going to go and iron out every little detail about your loan and about where money should be in certain in, in certain accounts for the buyer and really get everything ironed out so there's no surprises when you're sitting at the closing table. So then that leads us to step number eight and that is uh, closing on the home and signing at the title office. Um, sometimes your uh, real estate professionals will come with you. So your real estate agent or your mortgage lender will come sit at the table. Um, but this is where, like I said before, that the title and escrow company are really um, kind of taking the reins of the transaction. And this is when they uh, sign all the papers. You're going to have a big stack of documents um, that you're going to have to sign. And this is when they're going over every little detail and everything getting over with the county and with the state and with other records to get you to become the legal homeowner of that new home. This process can be a little complex and that's really where the title company and the escrow company come in and they're, uh, they can answer any questions and they go over every single page of that transaction with you. So then the last step is once signing is complete, we wait for it to be recorded by the county, which usually takes uh, a few hours depending on when you sign during the day. Sometimes it can be next day, but then once that signing is recorded and that purchase is recorded with the county that is when you are now the new owner of of the home and that's when you can go meet with the real estate agent at that house and they can hand over the keys and this is one of the most exciting times because now you are a new homeowner so congratulations on going through this step so this usually takes anywhere from 30 to 45 days from start to finish that means from writing on a writing in the offer to closing usually takes about 30 days or so. Um, so it can take a lot longer than that, depending on when you start step one and start talking with uh, the mortgage professionals. But it can really start longer than that, depending on when your idea of when you want to become a homeowner starts. So this can take months, if not years to get to this closing and get to this new key in hand. But the buying process usually takes about 30 days from writing the offer to closing and handing over, handing over the key. So if this video was any helpful to you, please leave a comment and please let me know, like this video, subscribe to this channel. I'm coming out with videos about real estate and about Vancouver, Washington weekly. So please follow along and I will see you in the next one.